The last time I saw Rangers play in Dundee, they played away to Dundee United and they'd just come off the back of a massive European win away to Borussia Dortmund. But today they play Dundee United's very local rivals, Dundee FC, which is right in front of me. I've never been here for a game before, so I'm really looking forward to seeing inside Dens Park. They're off the back of another European win, a big away win out in Serbia. Of course, they got past Red Star Belgrade. They lost on the night, but they went through on aggregate, um, but I think they'll probably be a little bit leggy again. Will they have another European hangover? Both teams need the points today for very, very different reasons. Dundee a dead last. They're bottom of the Scottish Premiership and Rangers are currently second, looking to defend their title. Celtic won yesterday against Ross County and, and, and have extended their lead. So Rangers need the points uh, for their title charge and Dundee need the points to try not to get relegated. Here is Dens Park. I need to go and buy a ticket, but look at this. I absolutely love these stadiums as much as you know they're old and maybe a little bit sort of run down in places. I do genuinely love them. Please do subscribe if you're new. Let's go get a ticket and have a look around Dens Park. Do you think uh, Rangers are going to win today? Yeah. Score prediction? Rangers. Chris and Corbin, a couple of Rangers fans yeah. as I can see. Um, how's the games usually at Dundee for Rangers? You usually bring a lot of fans, yeah, I take yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get a full stand. Yeah, Perfect. Full stand, so it'll be, it'll be good atmosphere today, yeah. eh? And obviously you played in Belgrade a few days ago. Do yeah, you think there'll be yeah. a bit of a European hangover? Or? Possibly, yeah. possibly. It's a quick turnaround, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But still confident? Yeah, yeah. And, and he's looking forward to going to his first European game, aren't you? So you're going to Braga away? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be incredible. They've got a great stadium over there. So what do you think the score will be today then? Yeah. Here we go, we've got our ticket, 30 quid. Ian and Ben. Ian and Ben, so you're from Sheffield, yeah. and you've come up to Scotland, a bit of ground hopping. Yeah. What brought, what brings you up? Well, we, we went to race and Dundonnell and uh, Hill of Beath yesterday. Yep. So the, the ground hopping people are going to Oakley yep. today, but we thought, Look, come, here, come see the champions play at Dens Park and stuff, yeah. He's got to keep his hand uh, yeah. sitting on his hands today because he's a closet ranger. Yeah. Oh. Are you most looking forward to seeing here then? Um, Out of all of them, Kent. Kent. There's Alfie. Oh, there's Alfie, yeah. Fashion. Fashion. Hello. Do you think there'll be a bit of a European hangover today? Uh, well, yeah, but I think they'll be inspired to go and uh, show a good result uh, yep. against them today as well. Especially last week we won 3 0, so we yep. should do well again today. What do you think the score would be today then? 4 0. 4 0. And you've said you've started your own Rangers channel, uh, yeah, right? I have, yeah. So plug away, tell uh, people where they can find it. So it's LMC Vlogs and I vlog all uh, Rangers vlogs as well. Yep. Uh, I was at Dundee United St. Mirren yesterday, stuff like that. So make sure you drop a sub as well. And so score prediction for today then? Two. And I was on a podcast with you. You interviewed me, didn't you? Where yes, can people uh, find that? Let them know. Uh, you could find it on, I think it's on YouTube. It's a Battle Fever podcast. Battle Fever pod, exactly. Yep, so go and check this man out and the Battle Fever pod team as well. We had a great chat. So, mate, lovely to see you again. Max and Lucas. Max and Lucas, score prediction for today? Um, last time, probably like 4 0 Rangers. And? 10. 10 10 0 <laughs> okay um, Callum and Charlie. Charlie Callum and Charlie or Charlie and Callum. who's Charlie and who's Callum that's Callum and he's shy oh, okay shy. well what do you think the score will be today maybe 4 0 and 6 0 someone said 10 0 a minute ago they're all going for goals let's hope it's not nil nil anyway we were just chatting off camera for a while what were your yeah. names sorry yeah I'm Graham and Ryan. right lovely to meet you lads we've just been chatting Thank off you. camera would you take the Europa League and not win the league. We were just talking about how you've obviously been in Europe, a lot of great yeah. run. Well, as I said, if we won the Europa League and they won the league, that's the amount of the Champions League as well. But 
like, yeah, I would sacrifice. I'd, I would take the Europa League. And yourself? Yeah, yeah it isn't enough. often you went, yeah. yeah you're right. European trophy and, and scun of them. Yeah, that would be historic. And so for today against Dundee, European hangover or no? Do you reckon they've got enough in the in the tank? They should have enough, mate. I mean, last week we did it, so this week, I'll go for the same 3 0. 3 0 and 3 0. Right, enjoy. They got their incredible uh, all-white kit on today, the Rangers team. But um, yeah, Bobby Mann's about to start the game. And I've been wanting to talk to you about this. For the whole time I've been in here, there's literally been music playing the entire time. Let me show you this. Low beams. There was only one man who would put so many low beams and poles of uncertainty in a stand and do the kind of lattice work like this. And these incredible curved beams, look at this. When I was chatting to all the people outside, all the fans, I was like, it's my first time in Dens Park, everyone's like, oh, I'm lucky. But I knew there was an Archibald Leach stand in here. I think this is the Archibald Leach main stand. Correct me if I'm wrong, there's a stand over there that looks pretty old school. And I think the two behind the goal are a little bit newer. But um, yeah, I've always wanted to come to Dundee FC because I think they have an old remaining Archibald Leach stand, of which I think this is it right now. So, boy, man, the players are kneeling. The game's about to start, but yeah, it's like uh, all the Rangers fans are some over here, some behind the goal, well, there's a lot behind the goal. Look, they've thrown even more stuff. Right, I'm gonna go and uh, stand a little bit closer to the action. Um, Rangers were supposed to be kicking this way in the first half, so I was gonna stand here. I thought there'd be more action on this end, but I might come down here in the second half. But the game might have to be stopped here. Look at how much stuff is on the pitch. Stewards on there, the Dundee fans are booing. <laughs> oh god, Scottish football is back on for the advantage. Rangers fans are throwing tennis balls on the pitch, delaying the game a little bit here. Also, why is the pitch so bad? There's like huge chunks of just like brown pieces on the pitch, like where there's just no grass. Like, I was at Barrow v Carlisle yesterday in English League 2 and the pitch was absolutely immaculate. How can you have immaculate pitches in English League 2 but the Scottish Premiership is like this? It's a real shame. Oh, it's a penalty to Rangers. Rangers have got a pen. Ryan Ayala to the defender. Bobby Madden gives Rangers a penalty. Tab obviously getting the ball. Couple of poles of uncertainty in the way of the fans, but we'll get a good view of the pen at least. Wow, that is one of the rarest things to have happened in Scottish football history. Tab has missed a penalty. That doesn't happen often. Half time here, great half from Dundee. They really do deserve the lead. Rangers have been awful. Dundee have been pretty good. See you in the second half. I think it's toilet paper they're throwing on, which will delay the start of the game once again. I oh, know, yeah, I've got it in. I've got it in. <laughs> the Dundee fans are fuming. And I've moved seat for this half. Maybe Rangers are going to be the more attacking team you'd expect Dundee to sit in. So I think we'll see a little bit more action up this way in the second half. Um, but Sakala's come on and so has Ariba. I'm trying to work out who's come off. And the weird thing about Rangers like throwing all the toilet paper on the pitch is like it's actually delaying the restart of the game and they're losing. They need this game to get going quickly and get at Dundee, but they've delayed it. But yeah, here we go. Back underway again now. Let's hope for a good half. Oh, and again, the Morelos, oh. oh! I think it's Ramsey. I think that's Ramsey's 
first goal for Rangers. It's really uh, lifted the noise in here. The sprinklers are on. The sprinklers have come on. Jesus. Hell. What is going on here? <laughs> if you wanted an advert for Scottish football, that is it. Goldson. Oh, Goldson has won it. Has Goldson kept this title race open now? And does that relegate Dundee? You can hear the Rangers fans now. Look, as I said, there's some over there and there's all behind that stand as well. The thing with Scottish football is if Rangers are or Celtic are the away team, they usually bring more fans than the home team. Blair, yeah. big Dundee FC fan, big we've fan, been yeah. chatting. Yeah. Thoughts on the game? It was a lot closer than I thought. Rangers haven't been at their best, but after McGowan got injured, Rangers just put the pressure up and yeah. the defense just folded. Yeah. But, you know, we've shown a lot of good promise here, hopefully help. I think so, yeah. I think uh, he played quite well, especially in the first half. It was just the pressure at the end, yeah. wasn't it, just told. And yeah, it was brilliant. The first half, amazing. And the missed penalty helped a lot. Do you still believe you can stay up? No. Not after today? I, no, I think that it'll, we'll try and put up a fight, but I think that we've not got enough power to really hold up. But I think it's actually better to go down and rebuild. OK, fair enough. Well, yeah, so, good luck to you, mate, yeah, and good luck to the club. Much. Yeah, thank you very much. No spring has sprung, it's very cold today. My car's been sat in the sun, so it's kind of like a little bit of a sauna in here, and it's so nice. Just saw the whole game, like the rest of the stadium was just draped in sun. But the stand that I was in was just like completely cut, like it got absolutely no sun, it's freezing in there. Um, but what a tense game! Rangers have just about kept the title challenge alive there, I think. Um, it was slipping away from them there a lot of the time, but um, yeah, Goldson with the goal in the end. Um, I saw him like I was looking at him for him at the back, I just couldn't see him, and then he. He popped up at the end there um, so yeah huge result please do remember to hit that like button let me know your comments on the game below and subscribe if you're new i'll leave some videos on screen please do click them on terry and watching cheers and i'll see you in the next one